So, Safari Connect, I'm gonna show you how to do the pack down. First thing we wanna do is take off all your bungees from the fly sheet and unscrew the pegs. And then you will have noticed that for quick release, you can just do the clips and leaving the C clips on there. But when we're packing up, you don't want to keep your C clips on the on the ratchets, so we're going to unhook everything. So take them off by the C clips. And once the C clips are popped off the ratchets on the two front ends, I'm going to leave the tail attached so I've got something to pull against and slip it out. Take the two front ends, flip the wings in, fold it in half, find the middle point, fold it in half again. Then we can take the tail off the ratchet, fold the whole thing in half, and we're gonna to roll towards the front so we can take all the air out. We wanna make sure that the fly sheet is clean and dry before we roll. And if you find yourself in a position where you have to break camp, uh, where there's still moisture, um, or rain on your fly sheet, then you're gonna to have to air it out when you get home. Because the mildew will get to, will get to it. You wanna make sure that your uh, C-clips are all folded to one way, because if they're folded inside the pack, that's gonna damage the fly sheet. And then I, I do a little bit of a back roll just to make it neater. Like that. No idea where I'm gonna take the poles out first, so one, two, and they should just easily feed towards you. You might want to give them a shake so they come out of the pole sockets at the back end and then they'll just they'll just feed forwards. Straight into the pole bag. Take the strap out of the, the tidy and because this is under a lot of pressure you don't want to um, undo that probably and get your get your finger caught in the recoil so what you can do is you can take the tail and pass it through the lock and the handle at the same time making yourself a longer handle yeah and then you can use the handle to pull pull the lock up and just walk it round and then give it a tug with one hand and a smack with the other and you're ready and then a little wiggle will loosen the the cinch knot and then just take the uh, the ratchet out of the loop and just pull the loop out of the d-ring three of those and then we're gonna clean up the, the straps so we're just gonna pull it free of the tree tail out of the loop and then what I usually do coil up the whole thing and once you've got that coiled you can get the other three and finish it off and now we can pack up the tent so I'm gonna leave the tail down and I'm gonna take one front corner and fold it over to the other front corner Stick the insect mesh inside to protect it. And then fold it back over in half and then take the D-rings and kind of lay them up the line. Then I can get the tail, dust off any woodland floor. Take the tail down to about there. And we're ready to roll. So I'm gonna roll from the front backwards so that most of the insect mesh is protected within the roll. Have it nice and tight. And then I've got my clip bracelet, which goes around the whole of the body. Clip tight, cinch. And now I can pack everything back in 
the connect bag. There's the spares. There's the body going in. There's the three ratchets. The three straps. Four pegs. They don't need to go in there. They can just go in the bottom of the bag. Pull that tight. Poles, fly sheet, quick check for the no trace, leave no trace, leave nothing behind and we're done. Safari Connect, pack down. <laughs>